Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Daisy Frostline. We're going to start by optimizing uh, Windows and I'm also going to show you some parameter in the Nvidia settings that you can change. After that, we will go inside of the game and at the end, we will change the config file. You can optimize some stuff in it. So let's start this. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings and we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode, honestly, is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're gonna struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, yeah, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. 
So now in the game. So first of all, in the display mode, I really recommend to go full screen. Don't use other mode. You're going to lose some FPS and also you're going to increase your input lag. For the resolution, I recommend to play native. So depending on your monitor, just select your native resolution. You don't have any upscaling technique in this game. So no DLSS or FSR. I don't recommend to lower your resolution to have more FPS because honestly, the game will look very blurry. V-Sync, I recommend to go with Disable to have uh, the, uh, the lowest input lag possible. If you have a uh, free sync or G-Sync technology, it can be good to remove those tiering lines and make sure that you synchronize your GPU with your monitor. So definitely, you can use that. For the overall quality, normally what I recommend to go is go extreme. Uh, it's going to set some stuff in the uh, config file that you can't uh, select over there. And after that, we're going to change our parameter by yourself. So for terrain visibility, this one I recommend to go with medium and pretty much the same thing with object visibility. This is pretty much new if you compare it with the latest uh, DLC. You can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS. Uh, for object detail, I recommend to go with eye. You're going to have better visibility to see enemies in front of you. You can even go extreme if you just want to pure performance. And when I say performance, it's perform your performance in the game, not your FPS, because it's going to tank a lot your FPS. So my recommendation, uh, I is a good compromise. Texture detail, if you have 6 gig and more of VRAM, you can definitely run extreme. Uh, 4 gig at I, 3 gig at medium, and less than 3 gig, go with low. Shadow detail, I recommend to go with poor. It's the lowest setting, and you can expect 12% boost in your FPS. So this one is pretty huge. Texture filtering should match your uh, texture uh, uh, detail over there. So if you are running extreme or high, just go with high. Medium, if you're running medium over there. And if you're running low, go with low. Terrain, the surface detail, this one I recommend to go with low. You can expect 6% boost. So for anti-aliasing, uh, you have two different anti-aliasing. I like to run the hardware at 2x. Uh, I, I feel like the game is better for visibility. But if you're struggling with your FPS... Uh, deactivate the hardware one and use low for this one or medium. It's using the FXAA, so it's a basic anti-aliasing. But uh, I feel like you're seeing too much aliasing in the game, too much noise, and it's tough to spot enemies. So I prefer to run low in hardware one. Foliage, I recommend to go with enable. So again, less noise in your foliage, so it's better to see enemies. Ambient occlusion, I recommend to go with disable. You can expect a 6% boost in your FPS. But the thing is, when you're running low, you see the game looks less flat. So a good compromise should be low. But if you just want to see enemies and you don't really care about your graphic, go with Disable. Post-process quality, this one at low to have better visibility. The game looks very blurry if you put it to uh, eye. And uh, you're going to gain 5% boost in your FPS. And water reflection, I recommend to Disable. Also, you have... Uh, I will reapply. You have an expansion um, section over there. Cash Shadow, I recommend to put this one at no. So now, let's go in the config file. We have a couple of other stuff that we can change, and I will give you my conclusion. So now, for the config file. So you have to go to your document and the name of your game, Daisy. After that, it will be probably be your uh, Steam name over there with this underscore setting. Double click on it. Three parameters that uh, are kind of important. The first one is your mouse smoothing. This one, make sure that you're putting zero over there. By default, it will be at 30. You don't want to add any smoothing mouse acceleration on your mouse. It's a lot better for your muscle memory and you will improve a lot if you do that. Another thing that will be by default, it's the add bub equal, equal one. I recommend to deactivate it over there. Just put zero. You don't want this noise when you're running, like moving your head and stuff like that. I recommend to just deactivate it. And the last one is your view distance. By default, it will be 2,200 and 2,000 over there. Uh, me, I'm playing at 3,800 and 3,200 to spot like enemies. But two things I want to mention with this. Uh, first of all, make sure that you have a lot of FPS of, <laughs> of spare because it's going to tank your FPS a lot. So maybe if you're struggling with your, with your FPS, don't go too crazy. You can even lower it if you're struggling. For an example, your view distance, you can put 1,500, something like that. Another thing that I want to mention, depending on where you're playing, a lot of servers are uh, pushing the view distance. So it's server side, it's not client side. So it can't be applied if they're pushing you a uh, server side view distance. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Daisy guide with the new Frostline DLC. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.